Oh, is it? Yeah. They are naughty elves. Are they naughty elves? Yeah. Isaac's still asleep this morning. He was up all night for fits. So he won't be out here today. Still not well, are you, buddy? No. What's the matter? Yesterday, I did think he was getting a little bit better, but he isn't. He's still very, very poorly, aren't you, buddy? Poor little Isaac. Morning, everybody. I'm really, really, really sorry about yesterday's vlog. <laughs> it was just one of them days, unfortunately. And although I have put a video up, it was just basically me talking most of it. As I never updated you about the doctor's appointment yesterday, which was a complete waste of time. I always come out of the doctors feeling not very satisfied with the outcome that they've told me. I always come out of the doctors feeling like it was a complete waste of time my scar on my stomach is causing me a lot of problems and my knees do and every time i go they always say you need to lose some weight i completely understand that i need to lose some weight i know i do but the but for the lady to say that the pain in my stomach is due to my weight is nonsense because even if i lost the weight the pain would still be there it's something to do with nerves in my stomach rather than me being overweight which i just think is ridiculous and they don't seem to be doing anything about it whatsoever so i'll probably go back and see a different doctor because i think it's to do with the fact that i've got two separate scars they haven't gone through the same one all the time and i've just got a big build up of scar tissue which is understandable but I'm pretty sure there's something they can do about it, especially when I'm in a lot of pain half the time. But anyway, this morning I also had another doctor's appointment to go and get a smear test done. Ladies, you need to go and get your smear test done. It takes two seconds. But my mum's here, so I'm going to have to go. So we're just about to get our coats and things on to go to Burton Riggs for a little walk. Take me for a walk and you're all going to go on your scooters, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to my big bike. You can't bring your big bike because you're a little bit too big for it, aren't you? Yeah. You're a little bit too small for it because you can't ride it yet. So you'll have to take your scooter. Yeah? No. Yay. He does have a scooter. He does have a scooter and a man gave it to him for free. At the car boot sale. <laughs> yeah. Yay, look at Isaac go on his scooter. Come on then, buddy. Go on, super snail. Come on, snail. <laughs> I want it. Everyone's already gone. Are you having fun on your scooters? Show me how fast you can do, Amelia. Woo, speedy! So we said we'll either go around for a walk at Pizan Park or go around Burton Riggs. And we decided we were going to go to Burton Riggs because it's uh, less busy than Pizone Park. But it's probably muddier than Pizone Park. We didn't realise how muddy it was going to be and no one's got the wellies on. I hate getting shoes muddy in the car or even coming home. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. And Isaac decided he didn't want to go on his scooter.
<laughs> Did he scare you, Alana? Careful, don't you slip down there. Oh, you're already mucky anyway. She's a bit nervous of people. <laughs> Keep doing to you. Standing on you. Keep getting your muddy paws on you. Yeah. What has happened to your coat? Have you fallen over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of you. Well, we're going to have to wash all them when we get home, won't we? Yeah. It's all right. Come on then. Go on your scooter, buddy. Look. Are you going to ride it? Go on then. I've never known a child so hopeless than Elliot. About two weeks ago, I always tell him, watch the path, because round near their school there's dog poo everywhere. Guess who stood in it? Elliot. And then about a week ago, we were getting in the car, I said, watch that poo, there's some poo right next to the car. What does he do? Stand in it. Bert and Riggs just now, guess what he did? <laughs> Stand in dog poo. I don't know what it is with him and dog poo. It just seems to attract his feet. But we're heading back home now because it's freezing. And Isaac's still not feeling very well. I think he's a bit fed up and he wants to go home. So we're all back from Burton Riggs and the kids are having a bit of a clean up. Ready for Christmas. What are you doing? Well, that's the not that's not the sort of clean and they expected to find coming up here. Why are you hoovering your hair? I don't know. Well, I didn't expect them doing that when I came up here. Good job, Alana. I know, you've tidied your room well, haven't you? Yeah? It's all tidy now. Well done, Elliot. What are you doing? Chilling. Living room's all tidy. Mini Moo needs a bath. Mini Moo. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Then it's 20 past six at a McDonald's, don't we? And now, it's Christmas, and you're allowed to be fat. And now, <laughs> and now it's my turn. It's it Elliot's turn to pick yeah. the DVD. Don't yeah. pull the camera out of my hands, please. What are you going to pick? Right, it. let's see. Have a look, bud. And what you got today? Isaac, Isaac, yes. no. Isaac, mind the way, buddy. I can't see Elliot. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, it's 
a nice film this is. Yeah, no, I can't, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a nice Christmas film. I'm gonna put it in. That is the end to another day. <laughs> I'm so tired today, it's unbelievable. Uh, when the kids were watching their DVD, I had to run back out to the shop to go and get a couple more bits. But that is everything done for Christmas. <laughs> Yay! Finally! Right at the last minute, I've never been this unprepared in so long even last year when my dad passed away and you know i was all over the place i was still more prepared than i were this year and i don't have a clue what's gone on this year i just don't know but anyway that's everything done i can well i can't relax because i've got so much other stuff to start doing at home <laughs> oh it's crazy and it's all over with in one day <laughs> can you believe it by the time you're watching this video it'll be two more sleeps until christmas two more sleeps till christmas and it'll be christmas eve the next day wow it goes too fast and then we'll be starting all over for the year after <laughs> i always say oh i'm gonna start early every single year but i don't i leave it right to the last minute all the time but anyway, I'm going to end this vlog because I've still got a few bits and pieces to do around the house. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow at 6pm.